welcome friends from across the globe. Today at the GCK Daily, we're looking at our pain, our suffering, and our sorrow. We're looking at the source of these things. And as we study a little deeper, we'll find out that all of our suffering, all of our sorrow, and separation comes from sin, from our rebellion against the Lord. So let's listen as we learn the truth about these things, the source of these things, and how we ought to finally come back from these things and find the restoration we need. Please listen as Pastor W.F. Kumi opens up the scriptures to us. Look at Numbers chapter 21, verse 7. It says in verse 7, Therefore the people came to Moses. You know, there are people who are proud and haughty. Yes, we spoke against Moses. And we know the consequence. I'm ashamed of what I've done. I'm sorry for what I've done. But I will not go to Moses, the representative of God, to pray unto God. That one is pride. And those who are proud, and they will not come to the Savior. They are proud. They will not come to the Redeemer. They are proud. They will not come to the one, the liberator. They will remain in their problem for a long time. Lowliness, lowliness. They came. Nobody pressurizing them. Nobody pushing them, nobody knocked them, nobody cursed them and said, you have not seen anything yet, if you don't come now, see what will happen. No, of their own volition, their own accord. They said, we knew the way we went to get this suffering on us. And the way back is the way you went down. If you went to a place of lawlessness, you knew the road you took, and you knew what you said, that same road will lead you back. You know what you spoke against God. That's the way that led you down. Turn around, that same way will lead you back. And so, therefore, the people came to Moses and said, with their mouths, they brought trouble on themselves. The way back is to use that same mouth and to bring forgiveness and to bring freedom and to bring healing and to bring deliverance. The same mouth that sinned is the same mouth that will confess. The same mouth that insulted God, blasphemed God, is the same mouth that will repent and say, I was foolish. I shouldn't have said that. I shouldn't have done that. Everybody knows the way back home. You remember the prodigal son? He left the father and he went a particular way into the far country. There's no point saying, I want to go back home, but I don't know the way. I want to go back to my father, but I don't know the way. I want to go back to the fellowship and the freedom and the forgiveness and the fruitfulness of a happy home. But I don't know the way back. You know the way back, that same way you took. When you went to the prodigal's far country, that same road is the road you take and you say, Lord, I'm sorry, I come back. I'm not worthy. I'm not coming because I think this is my marriage. All I'm asking for is mercy. And so, therefore, the people came to Moses and said, We have sinned. Beautiful, beautiful. The same thing, that's all it takes for you to come back to God. It's very simple. And as we listen, we've discovered a few key points from the first part of the message. Number one, the proud do not come to Jesus. The proud and the haughty do not come to Jesus. They fail to realize their need for a savior. They do not respond to Jesus. They do not acknowledge Jesus. They ignore Jesus and go about their daily lives, unaware and unable to benefit from the great gift of salvation freely offered to all. Number two, 
reverse the course of your life. Do you know the way out of your sin? The way out of bondage is simply doing the opposite of what you did to get into that problem. And if you got into that difficulty through pride, you get out with humility. If you got into that quadmire with anger, you get out with gentleness. If you got into that tussle with hatred, you get out with love. You need to choose to reverse the decisions that you have made and accept the mercy and grace of the Lord. Number three, salvation is simple. In this passage, the people said, we have sinned. It's beautiful. Jesus knows you want forgiveness and freedom. So don't stay suffering in your sin. Don't stay in your condemnation. Don't stay in your depression. And don't stay in your sorrow. Come simply and tell the Lord, we have sinned. Some people think that getting saved is complicated. No, very simple. Some people think uh, getting forgiveness and freedom and the fellowship of the Father, as I come back home, they think it's complicated. No, all it takes is for you from the depth of your heart to come to the Lord and to say, I have sinned. There's no big vocabulary there you cannot pronounce. We don't need to go to a dictionary or go to a encyclopedia and look for the words I'm going to use when I pray for forgiveness, for salvation, for eternal life. Very simple. We have sinned. And then they now explain that little sentence, for we have spoken against the Lord and against thee. Then they made a request. This was their longing. Their longing. They said, pray unto the Lord that he take away the serpents from us. They knew that God has authority over the serpents, over Satan, over sickness, over sin, he has authority over any trouble or the source of that trouble in your life. And they said, pray unto the Lord. They knew there was only one person to pray to that will give them that forgiveness and freedom and deliverance unto the Lord. I so come to the Lord because I know you are coming. I said, I know you are coming. The Lord has seen your heart. He sees your longing. He knows you want forgiveness. He knows you want freedom. And as you come tonight, He will forgive you. He will take away your sin. He will cancel all the consequences of sin out of your life in Jesus' name. God is waiting for you. It will forgive you. It will turn your life around. It will dry and wipe away your tears in Jesus' name. It will make all things new in your life. Condemnation will vanish away. Depression will vanish away. Sorrow will vanish away. Sickness will vanish away. We have all sinned. Every one of us. This is God's verdict about all humanity. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. The question then becomes, do we see and acknowledge our sin? Do we own our sin? Do we turn away from that sin? We need to reverse the course of our lives, reverse the course of our path, reverse the course of our decisions and run straight to a God who loves us forgives us and brings us joy and freedom in every way. Some of us have sinned by the things that we have done, and some of us have sinned by the things we have not done. That's very true, Jordan. Sam Jones was a popular evangelist in the Southern United States years ago. During the course of a revival meeting, he would designate a quitter's service. Persons were asked to bring symbols or pictures of their sins, like cards and dice, whiskey bottles, pictures of other men's wives, and so forth. As the fire evangelists exhorted the brethren to come forward and leave evidences of their sins, 
one of the saints of the church responded. The preacher was surprised and asked, Aunt Sarah, what are you repenting of? She replied, I ain't done nothing and I'm gonna quit. We simply need to admit that we have sinned. The Lord offers complete forgiveness to us. Please join Pastor Kumi as he leads us to salvation and satisfaction. Salvation has come to you now. Amen. I said salvation has come to you now. Amen. Keep up your hand and pray with you now. Father, what a loving God you are. Lord Jesus, what a ready Savior you are. We thank you because this salvation, this forgiveness, this new life, this regeneration is for everyone that calls upon you. These have called upon you. And those online and those everywhere where we are connected together now, they've called upon you for forgiveness, for freedom, for salvation, for regeneration. Lord, I pray, according to your promise, which cannot fail, save everyone now in Jesus' name. Forgive all their sins. Write their names in the book of life in heaven. Let a new life, regenerated life, come upon everyone right now in Jesus' name. Restore your peace, your joy, your new life to everyone right now. Thank you, Lord, for the answer. It is done. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The Lord has done it. He cannot fail. Anytime we ask, He always does as He has promised. What a joy to know that you reverse course and surrender to the Savior. We rejoice with you. We would like to come alongside of you as you've made this decision to walk with the Lord. We'd like you to start, first of all, by finding a Bible-believing church and getting plugged in there, and also making sure that attaining heaven is your goal. We'd also like to hear from you by you connecting with us at www.dclm.org forward slash connect. We'd love to help you in whatever way we can. Isn't that right, Jordan? And thank you, friends, for joining us again today and being a part of GCK Daily. We post new videos right here on a regular basis to keep you strengthened in your faith. When you share and subscribe to our channel, it helps us to spread this life-saving message across the globe. Please let us know how you have been impacted by our ministry in the comment section below. Keep in touch with us on all of our social media platforms as we look forward to connecting with you as you join us from across the world at the next Global Crusade from June 23rd to 28th. Thank you.